Hi everyone, this is Dikshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about Terraform console command. So this Terraform console is basically used to evaluate expressions. Like, uh, so when you don't have any state file, so what it does is like there are inbuilt functions in Terraform, right? You can evaluate those things. Uh, like for example, pod.module, which gives the current directory where you're executing your uh, Terraform tasks. You might uh, need those kind of things uh, uh, while uh, making it as a tag or you, you don't know you 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 might require where your terraform uh, the folder that you are running so in that cases you can use make sure of this uh, terraform console and you can verify it so how uh, why, when we execute that particular function or else in some cases like let's say you did some terraform apply you created some resources and you're uh, so you're you started adding few more resources for that you are using an interpolation concept you are giving some um, other resources ID here. So before that giving there, so you just want to verify it. So whether the uh, that particular interpolation will give the ID itself or it will give something else. So before that you want to verify it. By using this Terraform console, we can make sure uh, uh, whatever the value, the, whatever the interpolation that we are doing is correct or not. So let's see this in a demo. So what I'll do is I'll go into my mission. So uh, I'm already there in a simple, Terraform folder. So this code, as I've already uh, shown in my previous video, so if you want to uh, play with the code that I'm going to use in this video, you can go to my uh, GitHub. Uh, under that, I have a repo with this Terraform. You can clone this and you can work upon this uh, Terraform code. Okay. So this is very simple. So uh, I'm creating a VPC subnet security group, and also here, if you see, I'm using. Uh, those all those things i am just uh, using an interpolation concept and i'm giving that subnet id security group id and also i'm just creating a one s3 bucket this is very simple i'm not using any uh, interpolation or any any concept here so let me do a uh, play uh, uh, all the resources that uh, terraform apply so when we do this so it will going to prompt me to enter the s value so when when i do enter so it will gonna create all the resources that i've specified in that tf file it will take a couple of seconds because i have a ec2 instance to create right so let's wait for that as i can see on the screen so everything my aws instance is also done so let me clear the screen now so i have a couple of uh, things to show you so let me refresh it so here I should have one more S3 bucket should be created. I'm making sure like whether the resources has been created or not. Yes, the resources has been created. Now EC2 is there. Okay, assume like I want to know the value of this. So what was my uh, ID of security group? So for that, what I can do is like, one thing is I, can, I should go to uh, EC2 instance and then I should go to my security groups uh, wherein like I can fetch the ID of that. So instead of that, what you can do is as we have a state file in our uh, remote in the same folder that we have created the resources by the same folder we have created, right? So there you execute Terraform console. So when you execute that, so it will gonna give, the, give you the prompt. So wherein give the whatever the interpolation expression that you want to solve. When you, when you ex click on enter, it will gonna give the ID of the security group. So let's take this and verify against um, our security group. Okay, so let me go to EC2 instance and here, if you see there'll be a security group. Uh, let me search and uh, So the security group is here. So let me click here. And then if I if I just search for this particular ID, as you can see, this is my security group's ID. So that is why like um, whenever you want to um, evaluate some expression or when you have a state file, so if you want to get some interpolation value, so you can go ahead and you can use this. So we have a couple of other things as well, right? AWS subnet, public subnet ID. So when I execute this in uh, Terraform console, so I should be able to get the public subnet ID subnet id basically okay so when you don't have a terraform uh, like state file assume like it's a fresh so wherein i don't have anything 
So in that time, so there are a couple of Terraform uh, inbuilt functions. So there are many inbuilt functions like uh, pod dot module. When I give this one, so it will it will give me where my particular Terraform in which folder I've executed this particular uh, Terraform. Basically, where uh, I've executed Terraform console, right? It will it will gonna give me that particular path. Okay, so like that, uh, like let's say if you want to do some mathematical operations, if you do, I mean that also can be done in this Terraform console uh, prompt. So yeah, so when you have a Terraform state file, so then you can use it for to solve the your interpolation uh, thing. And if you don't have Terraform state file, so in that case, if you want to run any uh, inbuilt functions, so you can go ahead and you can create it. So in case of uh, if you have a state file, so you can run both uh, your interpolation and uh, inbuilt functions as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. So if you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.